Hi, my name is Widad and I'm a learning designer. Today, I will be briefly addressing the where, why and how of image sourcing for courses. My colleague Thomas will also show us how to go about finding freely licensed images. So let's start off with where are images used in a course. There are three key areas where images are used. One, in videos. Two, in lecture slides and other various uh, documents. Three, directly in learning management system platforms, such as the Lessons tool in Vula. So, why are images used? There are many reasons why images are used in teaching and learning. Some reasons include to illustrate a point or an abstract concept, to show examples. Someone may not know what you are talking about, but if they see it visually, they would have a better understanding. To put in context, this would mean finding images that are relevant and could build familiarity with those who see it. To initiate a response, images have the power to trigger emotions or simply just get your attention. So think of images you could use or want to use on the platform to start discussions. Another reason is to help students focus and remember. Strong images tend to stick in our brains more than words. So how do we find best quality images that are free to use? In terms of quality, you should be aiming for high resolution files, so 500 kilobytes or higher. You can check this when downloading images. By having high resolution pictures, you are ensuring that images are not blurry when shown in a video. Right, and I'm just going to show you how to actually do this um, using Google as our basic tool. So within Google, I'm going to pop across to there. I'm going to search for an image. I'm going to search an image of a rock. I'm going to do so in the Images tab. Now over here, we have a Tools section. If you click on Tools, you can see there become a number of different options that we can look at this thing. For instance, we can check what the size of the image is. We can look at some color things. And very importantly, can look at the usage rights. Now, not all images that are available online are available for reuse. In fact, most of them remain under full copyright, which means you can't put them in your courses or course materials. You want to be looking for images that are either labeled for reuse with modification or labeled for reuse. Labeled for reuse with modification means you can take the image, put it in your course, and make adjustments to it. For instance, cropping it, or adjusting the colors, or adding new elements. Labeled for reuse means you can take it and put it in your course or course materials without making any changes to it. So you have to use it as is. These kinds of images are called Creative Commons, or openly licensed images. Creative Commons is a bit of a complicated subject, which we don't have time to, uh, to go into today. I'm just going to show you how one image uses a Creative Commons license which means Google can pick it up as labeled for reuse with modification. So we've got our images of rocks over here. We're going to find one which is labeled for reuse with modification. And we're going to take this image of Logan Rock over here. Clicking on the image and opens it up. So here is our image. And if we scroll down, we can find this file is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. And here are what you can do with this image. So you can use it, you can copy it, you can add it to your courses, so long as you attribute it. This is license allows for modification, so you can make changes to the image as well. Other silt resources, which we will link to below, contain the relevant information if you want to do a more intensive look at Creative Commons licensing. Please note that even with uh, images which are openly licensed, there are some categories of images, for instance, images of children or refugees or victims of sexual violence, which are generally considered sensitive images. Please reconsider using these images, uh, replacing them with text resources, or being very, very careful if you do decide to use these images in your course. Thank you very much.